the national chairman of the great NDC. Honorable Johnson Esiedu Ketia. Your Excellency, the incoming President, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, and Your Excellency, Professor Nana Jean Opokua Jeman. You know something? I'm cutting the protocols here because I charged my General Secretary to establish a very elaborate protocol list so that if he makes a mistake, I will not be blamed. So I, I would like at this stage to write on the protocols established ably by the General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress. But before I proceed, we had a shocking news yesterday, and that was the demise of one of our comrades, Comrade Eric Datsun, served the party dutifully, beginning from a branch youth organizer, two terms constituency youth organizer, a deputy regional youth organizer, a regional youth organizer, and deputy national youth organizer aspirant, and a long-term central regional communications member. Ordinarily, we could have maybe postponed this event but we've been taught that when comrades are in battle some comrades will fall but we fight forward win the victory because before we come back to count the fallen comrades so on this note, we are encouraged to proceed without him. But I will crave the indulgence of everybody here for us to remember him with just one minute silence before we proceed with the rest of the proceedings. Shall we stand up and observe a minute silence for Comrade Eric Datsun. May his soul and the soul of the earlier departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. Revolution has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Revol, revol, revolution has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. 
comrades, since 2017, Ghana has seen the most ignoble degeneration in all areas of our national life. Our economy has collapsed to the extent that we now have introduced new fanciful terms such as haircuts and domestic debt exchange into our economic management lexicon. For the first time in our history, pensioners who toil to serve our country and are entitled to a quiet retirement have had to pick it at the Ministry of Finance to demand their hard-earned savings which they had investment, invested in government bonds. The sight of these senior citizens on television painted a rather bizarre image of our beloved country to the international community. Our present government has introduced a plethora of taxes that have visited excruciating hardship and a debilitating impact on our living conditions. Our infrastructure has broken down and many of our roads have been left in a bad state. Our hospitals have been neglected and many projects meant to enhance the quality of our health services have been completely ignored. Our educational system has been destroyed almost completely due to the reckless and the incompetent approach to the implementation of the free senior high school education program after the smooth introduction of the progressive free senior high school education program by the Mahan. Administration. Many parents have become exasperated as they demand the ever elusive quality education for their wards. In the energy sector, ladies and gentlemen, the mismanagement has been phenomenal. And Dumso, that was effectively ended by the Mahama administration in 2016, has again railed its devastating head in Ghana. Underpinning all these setbacks, has been the massive corruption, nepotism, favoritism, and impunity that has weakened independent state institutions and feathered the culture of state capture. We have witnessed the most devastating destruction of our environment through improperly regulated mining activities led or aided by government officials. In this manifesto, the National Democratic Congress has provided Ghanaians with clear, actionable and concise solutions born out of our social democratic ideals to address the many problems this country faces today. Our policy of the 24-hour economy has been clearly stated in simple terms to enable everybody to understand and associate with, except those who intentionally refuse to understand. So, we, so are other policies that we are convinced will help create the egalitarian society that we all seek for our country, Ghana. We are sure, Ghanaians, that this manifesto, which represents the People's Manifesto, provides a solid framework for building the Ghana we want together. We urge you to identify with our manifesto policy proposals and dedicate yourselves to voting for the NDC on December 7, 2024, 
to reset and build Ghana to bring it back from the abyss into which the country has sunk. Let us join hands to reset and rebuild the Ghana we want together. Long live Ghana. Long live the National Democratic Congress. I thank you very much and may God bless our homeland. Oh! Oh!